<clears throat> okay guys, so we got the GMC in here today, finally. Um, pretty much, I will show you the symptom that it's doing right now, but the wheels are like shimmying like this. And I pretty much narrowed it down to the idler arm. So I've got that here. That's what we're doing today. And yeah, we could just gotta get some tools in here and we can get going and I'll jack it up and show you guys what I mean. Today is because of, there's just, like you can see like i'm holding this wheel and look at that like it's all it's just really sloppy in there um so yeah first thing i just gotta take the skid plate off so i can get at it so this is the arm here that we're gonna be changing out it's just two bolts there and it's held on on that arm down there cotter pin and yeah so we looked at it again, all the slop is right in this joint in here, like from the bracket from the frame to there. So yeah, I think it makes sense that the idler arm is shot here. So we'll give it a replace and yeah, just need some more tools. And these two studs here go through the frame there. Um, yeah, we just need to get the hotter pin and the nut off the bottom wedge that guy in there, get the arm off the bottom, and then we can deal with the two bolts there. We found it was easier to turn the wheels to the left, because then it forces the idle... Oh, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> it forces the idler arm more towards the center of the truck, and it's a little bit easier to get at. And, uh, yeah, so now we just gotta take these two bolts out here. This one out. What? Hot? It's getting pretty hot with the... Oh. Do I show the glasses? Oh. Yeah, so here's the old arm. It's pretty loose in there, and this is like spinning freely. Shouldn't be like that. Oh, well, that's the new one. Now we just gotta turn that. Yeah, we just gotta turn this so it links up the same way as that and the vise, and there's no play in this, obviously, so hopefully that fixes it. We just finished up putting the new one in. There it is, it's all done in there. So we just gotta put the skid plate on and turn the wheels back to normal. I, yeah. Okay, so it's off the ground now. You hold it, I'll, I'll move it. Oh, that's... Wheels moving inside though. Should have taken a lot of slop out of this. Well, I mean like this. Like that's... That's better. It's just this. Oh, okay. Pitman arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just keep driving. That's good. I think it's just steering box. Because the Pitman arm is turning, but it's turning inside the steering box. Oh. It's definitely going to be better than what it was, but. Well, it didn't wander as much. Yeah. The install of the idler arm, hopefully this helps out with, uh, with the steering. And I'm going to get a steering stabilizer just because I think it's going to be good for it. So, yeah. And here's how it leans when it's inside the garage. Look at that. That's so mean. Clearly the front sits higher than the back. So that's that. Still gonna drop it down more though, I think. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Take a look at this piece of crap.